three is set. Over. What is going on guys, this is Amstar bringing you some Battlefield 3 review of the game itself and obviously before I start this I'm going to give you a spoiler alert so if you do not want to see anything, 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 anything of the game but I warn you this does not spoil any of the game it just gameplay experience of what you will witness inside the game when you play the campaign. I however do not have any multiplayer games in this in this review whatsoever. But if you guys want me to uh, leave, leave a review for the multiplayer, leave comments below, tell me what you want, and I'll make sure to do that. Obviously for multiplayer, the servers are going to be really bad because it's the first week of the game itself, and every game that's had multiplayer like Call of Duty has had bad servers for the first week because it's a launch and they just fix all the problems. And We've been there and we've gone through it. We can all live through it. Anyways, I want to talk about the gameplay, the campaign. If you're one of those gamers that loves storylines, this is the game for you. Why do I say that? Because you got stealth, you got tanks, you got jet jets, you got combat, you got um, I said stealth. You got just everything that you would want in a movie and in a game combined in all one game. What, like what I mean is like jets. You could fly around in jets. There's a whole mission for jets. There's a whole mission for tanks. There's a whole mission for stealth. And if you're like one of those guys that likes to run around with their gun and like a rusher, you know, there's missions for that. Don't worry, guys. There's a lot of really good experiences that you can get through this game, you know. I actually been attached to the character as I've been playing and move on. Obviously, that's like the plot. They tell you what's going on. And it's very, it's very good. The Dyson A, or, uh, EA did a phenomenal job. Yes, that's not a word. I know that. Well, what I want to say is this game, I would rate it 8.5. The reason why I would say 8.5 is because the graphics could have been a tad bit better or I know it's money consuming and everything because they have such big maps. Hands down. They, Battlefield does a very good job for standing out because they have like vehicles that you can use and you know that's just something that we do not have like in Call of Duty and if actually Call of Duty did it in uh, World of War but that was its own deal like it didn't like knock down buildings so that's something that also stands out for Battlefield and stuff Call of Duty that's what separates them apart and I, I however do love that I also want to talk about is if if you want to play this game for the story, do it. It's it's awesome. It's worth your sixty dollars. Or if you want to get used, go ahead. I I however got the hardened edition because that was really cool because I wanted this game so bad. And leave a like if you get the hardened edition or limited edition or anything else besides the regular copy. Leave a like if you have, or leave a comment. I love this game. I know I said it a lot, but. The story, I know I say this a lot, but the story is so good. Like, I don't even know what game to compare it to. I know, like, Call of Duty has its own good campaign, but this is just something that sets it out from something different. I don't want to give any spoilers. I was going to give it an example, but that might set it off and be like, wow, you pretty much spoil it. And I don't want to be that guy. So right now, what you guys are watching is pretty much the beginning of the game. That's going to do it guys. I am Amstar. If you like this video, leave a like. Follow me on Facebook. I'm on page It'll be in the descriptions. Everything will be in the descriptions. I'm Amstar and I'll catch you guys later. Leave a like if you like this game. Peace off.